Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for volunteering to uh, help with Christina School District's um, phone banking uh, today. Uh, I welcome you uh, on behalf of Friends of Christina School District. Um, <clears throat> when you start making calls, you will receive this um, uh, this link open VPB VPB stands for virtual phone bank dot com slash virtual phone bank. It'll bring you to this uh, page where you would click on get started and you will be asked to provide a phone bank uh, virtual phone bank code. You have already received an email which contains that code. I am going to paste that code here and you can click on join a phone bank. Once you click this phone bank, uh, you will see this page. Um, this is where you see the name and the phone number. This is the phone number that you pick up your phone and dial this phone number. Before, before you dial, um, there are a few things that you can uh, find out about this household um, right here on this page. So for example, this person, Sunil Agarwal, uh, also has another person, Patricia uh, Warnock, uh, living in the same household and they share this phone number so you can click uh, through this and and see uh, who else is in this household there may be sometimes uh, three or four members if there are m multiple voters in this house and sometimes there will be just one person so you are not going to have these tabs uh, in here uh, another thing to notice, uh, it says, uh, it provides you further information. This is 51 year old uh, female and Sunil Agarwal is 54 year old male in this household. Um, uh, a little bit about the script, uh, calling hours, 10 a.m. to 8.30 uh, p.m. Saturday, 12 to 6 p.m. Sunday and 2 to 8 p.m. Monday. Um, have an upbeat and excited voice uh, as you speak. Uh, if nobody picks up the phone and you have to leave a voicemail, you can read this script and push this button. I could not, I couldn't reach Sunil. After that, if let's say somebody did pick up a phone, then you'll start with phase one. Phase one is introduction. You start with my name is and state your name. I'm volunteer with uh, friends of Christina School District, how are you today? Give them a moment to respond. I'm calling to remind you about Christina School District's operating and capital referendum on Tuesday, June 9th. Uh, and here you enter phase two. Here's the ask, and this is a direct question. Can the students of Christina School District count on your vote in support of the referendum on Tuesday? If they answer yes, Thank you for your promise and move on to phase three, where we provide them further information on voting. If they say no, they do not want to uh, vote yes, or they, they, want to know, they do not want to uh, support uh, referendum, you just say, um, okay, thank you for your time and have a great day and you can end the call at that time. If however they are decided, this may be a little longer call where you can give them reasons um, to help them make a positive decision uh, towards uh, the referendum. Can I give you some background information? Do you have any questions? If they have any questions, um, you know, you can listen to their questions and um, uh, respond to those questions accordingly. Uh, and here are some of the reasons. Uh, if operating referendum fails, the district will, for will be forced to cut all supports and extracurricular activities. Uh, reason two, reason three, reason four. Um, after you have given your reasons, you answered their questions, uh, you can ask them, uh, uh, you know, can, can we count on your support for the referendum on June 9th? If the answer is yes, again, you move to phase three where you provide them further information on the voting. If they, if they are still saying no, then you just thank them, have a great day, and you can end the call. Um, possible objections, you know, questions. I don't have kids to go to Christian school district or today's children are tomorrow's. Uh, 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 you can give the answers here, ensuring strong public schools or today's children are tomorrow's leaders or did you, did you, um, uh, it should have said your, did your children already graduate from public school? Then you know just how important they are. Um, so, so, you know, these are some of the uh, talking points 
that, that you can use in your conversation. Here's the phase three. Uh, this is additional information on actual voting. Uh, you can start with thank you for your support. Um, and then you can vote at any of the po polling stations um, uh, from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. And you can, you can give them the list or ask them which one of these 11 schools are closer to their home. They don't have to go to the, the, the polling station closer to there. They can go to any one of these 11 um, uh, polling stations. Uh, all they need to carry is their ID. Um, and if the ID does not have the address within Christina School District, then they, they should have, um, uh, they should have uh, a utility bill, any, 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 uh, any official document that shows uh, that they live in Christina School District. So for example, if they have a passport uh, to prove that they are US citizens and they're eligible to vote, but they do not have, but the passports do not have addresses uh, on them, then in that case, they will need, um, you know, some so sort of uh, uh, address verification that they actually reside in Christina School District. Uh, if they have, uh, if they tell you that they have requested absentee ballot, uh, which I'm expecting that many of them might have already done that. Uh, you just ask them uh, to make sure, uh, you know, that they have already mailed it. If they have not already mailed it, in that case, you can tell them if you already have a ballot and have not mailed it yet, mailed it back yet, um, you may want to deliver it. Make uh, a mail takes at, at minimum two days, and the Department of Election must receive the ballot by 8 p.m. on Tuesday. Um, and here is the address uh, for the uh, for for where the for the, where it needs to be dropped off. Um, if you requested an absentee ballot and have not yet received it, you can still go to the polls on Tuesday and vote in person. Uh, after this, you can you can uh, you can save and make and and uh, push next call. Uh, if you do not want to uh, if you want to skip somebody you know you look at a name and you want to uh, skip this name you can do that you can just uh, hit the skip button or you can stop making calls at the end of your shift if you receive any specific questions that you do not know the answer to um, you, uh, we will provide you a link to a document where you can write down those questions uh, so that everybody else can also share uh, you know, the, the experiences that they are uh, facing and uh, uh, so, so that, you know, that knowledge base can be developed uh, for questions that are not answered here. So please make sure to use that resource as well. Thank you very much. I appreciate uh, once again, um, your willingness to help and support uh, Christina School District uh, for this referendum. Thank you.